Check out the internet's most hilarious election day tweets, plus find out Google's top searches, like who the F is Taylor Swift voting for. In honor of this insanely wild election almost being over, what do you say we take a look at some of the funniest election tweets? Because I heard that's healthier than eating a whole cheesecake. So when it came to encouraging apathetic voters to get to the polls, one user warned on Twitter saying, quote, if you don't think your vote matters, just remember that Ruben stuttered one American Idol in 2003. So I mean, like, no offense, Ruben, you're freaking awesome. But this lady kind of does have a point. As well as encouraging fellow users to vote, some took to the app to express their stress and anxiety over waiting for the election results. One wrote, quote, Christmas Eve plus April Fool's Eve plus the day before you take the SATs equals tonight, which is like hashtag too accurate. Another tweeter wrote of the result stress, saying I hope the movie they eventually make about this election is called Phew, Phew. Aren't you glad that's over? Yep, couldn't agree more with that. And on the opposite end of the stress spectrum, there were those who chose to see the election glass half full no matter what. One such optimist tweeted, quote, no matter who you vote for, it's pretty cool to know that at least 150 million people are going to be really, really pissed off in a few hours. Wait, I'm sorry, I don't think that's cool. You think that's cool? Disagree. That's just one more thing for all of us to worry about. Okay, you guys, I think it's time to start stress eating. At least one thing that everyone seemed to unanimously agree with on the Twitter sphere is that everyone will be happy for the entire campaign season to finally be freaking over. And besides Twitter being utterly rampant with election comments and memes, Google has had its own surge of election-related searches. The number one thing people are asking the search engine though? Who is Taylor Swift voting for? I mean, seriously? Yeah, you guys, when it comes to the who is blank voting for question on Google, users are most curious about Taylor's choice of candidate along with casually Monica Lewinsky, George Bush, and Mitt Romney's. Probably because we already all know who Beyonce is voting for. But unfortunately, those looking to Taylor for voting advice are just gonna find themselves disappointed as Tay has not made any official or public comments on who she's voting for. But thanks to an Instagram post she shared of herself lining up to vote today, she is encouraging her fans to vote no matter what. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. So I wanna know what your favorite election tweet has been. And who do you guys really think Taylor is voting for? Hmm. Sound off in the comments. After that, click right over here to check out the Dirty Mouth Guard Challenge on a new episode of That Got Weird. And you know what's really weird is all the people in that Mouth Guard Challenge voted today. <laughs> and since it's election day, who do you think our next president will be? Click to the left for Donald Trump or to the right for Hillary Clinton.